taking a lot of Vossen wheels in lately. So new Vossen wheel. This is a new design. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. If you've seen the past vlogs, you probably think, hey, what? I've seen this boat before. This is not new. Yes and no. So let me explain. Right, this boat design that you see is not exactly new. It's been done before by a different name, S2101. It's what we had on our McLaren. However, this is not an S2101. This is what they call a Vossen HF5. So what that means, guys, is they took that same very popular design and they created it in a hybrid forged setup. And now this is a much more cost-effective wheel. Bring me that wheel. Let's look at the difference. Obviously it's skinnier. It's a lot skinnier in these areas. This is more supported. So here's the Ford version. This is the S2101 and this is the HF5 that just came out. As you guys can tell, spoke design wise, it's the same. There's a little bit of a difference, the little nuances, right? Uh, for example, as you can tell, the spokes are a lot skinnier, right? A lot less material. Whereas these, it's a lot thicker. It's different construction. It's not as strong as the Ford's wheel. Also, the center hub area is a lot less material as well. It's, whereas here, you can tell there's a little bit more material on the sides here. And of course, the center cap, as you guys can see, is different. This is Ford, so you can make this fit your car, no matter what kind of car you have. It's custom made to order, whereas this is more like an off-the-shelf fitment. So it'll fit a lot of cars, a lot of popular cars. However, if your car is very unique, very specific, there's a good chance that this won't fit. And another added bonus is in here, can you guys see those little lines here, those little ridges? It's over here and it's also over here. This is what you call knurling. So what that does is when the tire is actually on here, these little lines actually grip the tires a little bit better. So that way it prevents uh, the tire from slipping, especially on a high performance car. This is actually a Tesla Model 3 real wheel. 28.7 pounds. And just to give you kind of a reference, the stock 20 inch sport wheels from Tesla for the Model 3 weighs 28.75 pounds. So 0 0.05 pounds heavier. It is a 20 by eight and a half. So it's two inches narrower and it still weighs a little bit more than our 10 and a half. And that's because of the construction. And it's gonna give you a better fitment on your Model 3 because the wheels are gonna come straight out to the fenders and get pretty much flush with it. So you have a better looking setup. So this is a staggered setup, which is the most popular setup for us for Tesla Model 3s. 20 by nine in the front, 20 by 10 and a half in the rear. I'm gonna weigh the front. So the front are half an inch wider than the stock 20 inch Tesla wheels. All right, so I have the front wheel on. The front weigh 28 pounds even. Despite being half an inch wider, it actually weighs less than the factory wheels. This is what the HF5 looks like in gloss black. And the reason why I'm kind of excited about this is because this is the first wheel ever that Vossen has actually included gloss black as a standard finish. In the past, they've always done a matte graphite, though they've done like tinted gloss black, which is not a fully blacked out wheel. It'll have like some sort of gum metal or some sort of polish on it. But this is for the first time a fully gloss black wheel that you can get at no extra charge. So we just installed the new HF5 wheels on our Tesla Model 3. So currently we have the VFF 109 from Vorsteiner on. So this is what it looks like currently. But if I go on to this side. Whoa, that looks good. Red center caps. 30, 40. That looks really freaking good. I mean, that looks sick. Oh man. It looks so much more technical. Like the, the VFF 109s have like a clean European look. Yeah, it goes well with the whole carbon fiber that you have going on, you know? Let me know in the comments which one you guys like more.